Berlin. To start conference recording, press one. The recording has started. We give God praise because of His goodness and His mercies. We worship the King of Kings who have given us the opportunity once again to stand in His presence. I want you to lift up your voices wherever you are and begin to give God glory. Say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for what you are doing in my life. I thank you for preserving my life. I thank you for giving me another opportunity to stand in your presence. Be thou glorified in the name of Jesus. I also want to tell you, before we get into prayers, I am the host pastor of Send Me Radio, Pastor Chidi, and I'm bringing greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, and I'm asking you to ensure that you download the app. Send me radio app. Download it from the app store. Download it from the Google store. So if you're using iPhone or Android phone, you can download it on either of the stores or the apps. We are also on all the social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube. I want you to subscribe to our YouTube. Tell somebody about it. Like I said before and again, it is free. The app is free. We don't charge money for it. Even though you can make donation to our website, we also have some materials that we sell. Clothes, very beautiful clothes, and very good shirts and all that. I want you also to look at the blogs. It's a very spiritual website, a place that you can read and uplift your soul. The the messages, these gospel songs, they are wonderful. You can either log in from that website or even on our live radio. Glory to God. We want to thank all of you that is supporting us both in prayers and contribution. I want to give God glory. Hallelujah. We give God thanks. We give God thanks. We appreciate you. Uh, This morning, we are going to pray. But before we get into prayers, I'm going to read some scriptures so that we can lay the foundation of our prayers through the scriptures. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to read John chapter 8. I'm reading from from verse 1. Jesus went unto the Mount of Olives. And early in the morning, he came again into the temple. And all the people came unto him and sat down, and he sat down and taught them. 
And the scribes and the Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they asked unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what sayest thou? This they said, tempting him that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus stood down and with his finger wrote on the ground as though he had them not. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto him, unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they which had it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those your accusers? Had no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me, shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Hallelujah. I'm going to stop there for a while. I want you to know this morning that I want you to know this morning that God is not the God of condemnation. Hallelujah. God is not the God of condemnation. The duty of our God is not to condemn you. God didn't choose you to condemn you. Remember, all these people that accused this woman, plus the woman accused, they are all people of God. Yes. They are all Jews by nature. Glory to God. But one is being condemned even though it was a setup so that they will have something against the Lord. And you can see people Going through the same experience sometimes. You know, sometimes people will accuse you on unimaginable things. Something that you have never thought about. They will say you did it. But I'm telling you that when you are in the presence of God, every accuser disappears. Hallelujah. Because anytime there is an accuser, that accuser is projecting and establishing the work of Satan. The Bible says he is what? The accuser of brethren. is constantly accusing. 
So when people begin to accuse you, stay in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Stay in the presence of God. That is the only way they will begin to disappear one after the other. The Bible says when they brought this woman, they came in group. They have older persons to the smallest. They surrounded the woman, make him stand in the middle. And then they asked Jesus a question. And that question was, what do we do to this woman? We found him on the act. We found him committing adultery. The woman. And they never brought the man. But this woman taught us a lesson. The Bible says, as they stood in the midst, as she stood in the midst, Jesus said, let any one of you that have no sin throw the first stone. Just a simple thing. And everybody started dropping their stone. Why was it possible for the woman to go free from that heinous act? She was able to go free because she was standing in the presence of God. I want you to understand this morning. As we're going to pray. That the most secure place. We are no accuser. We are no murderer. We are no destroyer. Can touch you. Is in the presence of God. As we can see. That those men that came. Represented. The three categories. Of satanic agenda. They came to kill. Because. They were having their stones to stone that woman to death. They accused him. Sorry, they accused her already. Because they wanted her to be destroyed. They also destroyed her character already. The news went abroad. And this woman was caught in the act. So this is their job, to kill, to steal, and to destroy. They were murderers, they were killers, they were stealers, thieves, glory to God. And Jesus did something, he said, let the first person who have no sin throw the first stone. And Every single person left. And I'm prophesying this morning that all your accusers, as long as you stay in the presence of God, you will look and you will not find them. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Those who have risen to kill you, you will look as long as you stand in the presence of God, they will not be able to find you. And those murderers, when they come around, as long as you are in the presence of God, they will not be able to find you or do anything to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I also want to let you know that any kind of trouble or problem that you're facing, let it drag you to the presence of God. Hallelujah. Don't let any problem take you away from the presence of God. But let those problems, let those heaviness, let those dark moments drag you to His presence. Because as soon as you enter the presence of God, light shines, hallelujah, and exposes all works of darkness. The Bible says that Jesus had lifted up himself 
and so none but the woman. Hallelujah. You will begin to understand that you alone is the one that will be able to stand in the presence of God. Once you get into this presence, nothing will be able to harm you. Nothing will be able to stop you. Especially in this year, 2024. Don't let it be a wasted year. Let it be a year of standing in the presence of God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Jesus began to teach and say, I am the light of the world. Hallelujah. He spake again to them saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. We're not talking about the light bulb that is in your house. Light of life. That everywhere there is life, you will carry that light. It is a light that the enemy cannot stop. And we're going to pray this morning. We're going to pray. Two things. Anyone that is accusing you, every accusers, every murderers, every killers, stealers, thieves, that they will not be able to find you. Even if they will be able to come, they will find you in the presence of God. The presence of God has an aura. Glory to God. There is a circle of pre protection, unseen protection. And the more you stay in the presence of God, it expands. It expands your circumference of Dominion continues to expand when you stand in the presence of God. Glory to God. It begins to expand in perimeters. Begin to expand in height. Things happen. And this is where the Lord wants us to find ourselves. Where none of these things will be able to hold you down. No element of creation will be able to stop you. Will be able to hold you down. Nothing, nothing, nothing will be able to stop you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want you this morning to lift up your voices. Begin to pray and say to God, none of my accusers, None of murderers, no killer, no thief will be able to find me in the name of Jesus Christ. No, my children, we will all be in the presence of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth. Yes, Lord. No thief, no, no murderer, no accusers will be able to find me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. I will stand. In the presence of God. I will stand. In the presence of God. My family will stand. In the presence of God. My children will stand. In the presence of God. Yes. Open your mouth. Yinkobo sarabot. Yinkobo sarabot. Makula berimo sompea. Rally combo sakirabota, warima kombrinata, zagi adolobos, burima sankarabos on teligabuya. Yes, Lord, in the kobonutai, varima kontei. Yes, Lord, nikariabos, no accusers, no thieves, no murderers will be able to find me. We're able to find my children. 
We're able to find our families in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want you also to pray that the Lord will become your light this morning, this season, this day, this year. The Lord will become my light in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will become my light. Yes. The Karimo Palintariabos Manka Borida Kota Zandelika Babosa Balika Turima Sapa Jamelo Trebos. We give God the glory. We give you praise, Lord. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Manka Bosa. Barinkabo Sulebinia. Yes, the Lord shall be my light. The Lord shall be my light. The Lord is my light. The Lord is my light. The Lord is the light of my family. The light of my children. The light of my wife. The light of my entire family, in the name of Jesus Christ, glory to God. Ye panakurobo seliba, we give God glory. Mali garobos, ye ni maruba kansa. Open your mouth, decree and declare it. The Lord is the light of your life. The Lord is the light of your life. Decree and declare it. Oh my pelongo, Siga Robert, Rafael Lago Diabo. We give God glory. We give God praise. In the name of Jesus. We're also going to pray this prayer. Hallelujah. In the book of Psalm, chapter 64, and verse 1, the Bible says, Lord, listen to my complaint. Preserve my life from the conspiracy of these wicked men, these gangs of criminals. Open your mouth. Say, Lord, Preserve my life. Preserve my life from the conspiracy of the wicked men and the gangs of criminals. Preserve my life. Let my life be worthy, O oh Lord. Worthy of preservation in the name of Jesus Christ. Mali Borobos. Baki Kabutaya Bremo Lutabas Yengo Lobos Opanima Sinkai Yes Lord Veni Marivabos In the name of Jesus Yes They cut me down with sharpened tongues They aim their bitter words like arrows Straight at my heart. They shoot from ambush at the innocent. Suddenly, the deed is done. Yet, they are not afraid. They encourage each other to do evil. They meet in secret to set their traps. I want you to pray this morning. Everyone meeting in the secret to set a trap for you. The power of God will destroy them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every secret trap from secret people, from secret societies, from secret gathering against your soul. We release the power of God and destroy them now. Every secret trap 
set against you. I destroyed this morning. I cut it off. I contarry as opalak rubota. Bambre volobo tenkoi. In the name of Jesus Christ, every secret people, secret place, secret trap, we set them on fire. 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 fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, no secret trap will ever walk against you. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Mom Peribos. Veto Peribos. The Bible says they keep a sharp lookout for opportunities of crime. They spend long hours with all their endless evil thoughts and plans. But God himself we shoot them down. God himself, we shoot them down. Suddenly, his arrows will pierce them. In the name of Jesus, God will shoot them down. Every secret plan against your life, against the life of your children, against the life of your family, both in your workplace, both in your family, both in your Offices, the Lord will shoot them down in the name of Jesus Christ. Their plans will never work. Hallelujah. We give God glory. Just raise your hands and begin to thank God. Say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you because their plans will not work. Their sharp arrows will not work because my God will shoot them down. My God, we shoot them down. My God, we shoot them down. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Blessed be your name. Be thou exalted, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I want you to lift up your hands wherever you are. Lift up your hands. Father, we thank you this morning. We give you praise and glory for who you are. I thank you because you are the almighty king. The one that rules forever. I pray that everyone on this radio line right now, everyone and the prayer line. And everyone under the sound of my voice will be protected by you. Protect them, Lord. I cover all of you with the blood of Jesus Christ. No accident shall happen to you. No murderer shall touch you. No damaging of properties. No loss of life. No fire outbreak. I cover you. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. And I also pray that any sickness, any sickness finding its way so your dog post right now will be totally destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the healing power of God from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet to heal you completely from every kind of sickness, from every kind of disease. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you. I cover you. I cover you. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, this is Pastor Chidi 
the host pastor of Send Me Radio. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want you to download this app. Tell your friends about it. Grab their phone, download the app from the app store. It's one word. Send me one word, then radio. You will see the green app on your app store or your Google store if you have Android. Be able to see us, download it. It's full of spiritual activities. You're going to see here different men of God. You're going to hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. You're also going to hear gospel music. Word of encouragement. Word that satisfies the soul. The word that encourages your heart. The word that will build stamina. Strength in your heart. In your spirit. Glory to God. Blessed be your name, O God. Hallelujah. Download it. Share it. Go to our YouTube channel. Subscribe. Glory to God. Subscribe so that you will know exactly when we come on. You can also visit our website www.sendmeradio.net That's our website. It's very rich. Wonderful. There is a store there. You can also purchase those materials as a support. Purchase it. Purchase those t-shirts. Those wonderful materials they are selling there. It's very good. Glory to God. And you will see the blog. You can read. You can also listen to messages. You can also listen to music. It's very, very rich. Glory to God. Glory to God. And God will continue to bless you. Bye-bye.